Now, answer this one for me. Take a little time and answer this one. So I'll just be reading out the question, the rest of the statement. As their currencies resume their prolonged slide against the US dollars. Okay. Uh, the Indian rupee we can pass the 71 mark for the first time ever on Friday, registering a loss of about 10% of its greatest of its value against the dollar since the beginning of the year. This makes the rupee the worst performing currency in Asia. Now, tell me where is the error? Which one is the correct option, uh, if I may ask? Should it be A, B, C or D? All right, so some of you saying investors who earlier put their money in emerging markets. As their currencies re resume, their prolonged slide against uh, the US dollar. Investors who earlier, okay, this is not the right answer because we are talking about Indian rupees and we are talking about how it, uh, the mark reduced to 71 marks against the US dollar, right? Emerging market currencies, most notably the Turkish. Okay, now again, this is about has suffered huge losses owning too. Okay, owning as their no. We are talking about okay. Emerging market economies continue to be in the spotlight for the wrong reasons. Now, as their currencies emerging market economies continue to be in the spotlight for the wrong reasons yes m markets like indian markets okay so what are the wrong reasons they are their value is decreasing its worst performing currency okay so one negative comment wrong reason and what is the wrong reason worst performing currency in asia emerging market countries which earlier benefited from the easing of monetary conditions no, again, this does not make sense. Statement D does not make sense. So it has to be C. All right. Because in the C statement, it covers wrong reasons. Okay. What are the, and the wrong reasons are that Indian rupee weakened past the 71 mark for the first time ever on Friday, registering a loss of about 10% of its value against the dollar since the beginning of the year. And this is the worst performing currency in Asia. So those are the wrong reasons why uh, these emerging currencies or emerging economies are in the um, are in the spotlight for the wrong reasons. All right. Over the next hundred years, AI and robotic system will increasingly dominate labor and work, producing necessities and the physical artifacts of human life. Dash more of us. To the realm of action okay now you need to understand when you get a fill in the blanks you need to understand whether the effect that you are talking about the word that we will be using should be a positive word or a negative word okay so please make sure that you first understand that now understand that we are in action we are working right now um, and AI is not doing my part right Although AI is helping me, but it is not doing my part, uh, the teaching part, right? So that is me being in action, okay? Now, if the AI and robotics take, take over, what will happen? My action will, human action will decrease, right? So, so we are looking for something that goes down, a negative term. So it cannot be uh, provoking more of us to the realm of action. No, it cannot be provoking it enabling instigating engendering or all of us or all of the above okay i just i don't know why i did that but okay you tell me what should be the if all spellings are correct we should check whether all words are appropriate or not if all spellings are correct, we should check all words are all appropriate. Okay, that go. That is to say. That is to say. Okay, uh, it is really extraordinary. You should read the instructions for that, Sony. Sometimes they just ask you the right spelling, not the if the word usage is uh, sincere or inappropriate in any way. Yes. So. 
okay let's go get back to the question any of the word that is inappropriate also since there's an or if it is wrongly spelt or inappropriate if any okay so inappropriate it is extraordinary how in some people a little and a simple enthusiasm of me uh, missing a train can grow into serious obsession okay now yes I did not check this part so which one is inappropriately used is there any word that is used inappropriately Okay, in, it is extraordinary how in some people a simple enthusiasm of missing a train can grow into a serious obsession. Is there any word that is used? Context is negative but enthusiasm is a positive word. Okay, yes. The word over here, enthusiasm, is not used appropriately why because we are talking about uh, not because it is negative sony uh, it can be positive negative that is not a problem because it is really extraordinary it, it is again something that is a positive word uh, it is amazing it is a really extraordinary how in some people a simple enthusiasm of missing a, a train can grow into serious obsession so what should we replace it with can you tell me if not enthusiasm what should we replace it with if we are replacing it with something else is the word enthusiasm wrong in this context uh, context is negative and enthusiasm is a positive word okay we are talking about something getting to the level of obsession Okay, so let's see. Which word is wrongly used over here? Is the word enthusiasm wrong in this context? Okay. What should we replace enthusiasm with? A simple enthusiasm of missing a train can grow into serious obsession. Okay, so replace it with something negative. Uh, let's try the Sony. Let's try Sony's method. He's saying that we should replace it with something negative so what can be a negative term for enthusiasm All words that we can think of mostly enthusiasm has it, it just means what is the meaning of enthusiasm it means um, zeal of doing something or passion of doing something or just being eager in doing something can we use mistake okay a simple mistake of missing a dream can grow into a serious obsession yes that would be an appropriate yes we can use mistake or a simple error of missing a train or a simple uh, yes mistake of uh, missing a train that would be the most appropriate Vidya so enthusiasm is wrongly used yes and the what Vidya said is absolutely fine mistake would be the correct one all right so there is a problem and the problem is C that is enthusiasm and yes in this case sony was right uh, it is really extraordinary how in some people till here it is fine a simple dash can grow into a serious obsession so we are looking for something negative it cannot be positive 
absolutely fine brilliant sony that should be the right answer the problem is enthusiasm is a positive word and the next word is negative okay something growing into something a little negative grows into more negative okay positive cannot grow into negative all right so that is the mistake over here good question vidya uh, i thought it was just wrongly spelled so i just looked at words which are wrongly spelled nice so learn from my mistake uh, do not just uh, read the entire question properly all right 